I get to it first, I got you mad. I get sad when I get to it last. Get it, then I'm never going back. Get it, then I'm never going back. I get to it first, I got you mad. I get sad when I get to it last. Get it, then I'm never going back. Get it, then I'm never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it, then I'm never going up. Going up, going up, going up. I'm a different car keys. I'm the life of the party. Like buy a bike like a Harley. Totally do so gnarly. God got me, can't harm me. I got armor and an army. Battle scars, battle smartly. Smartly. Just forever like a Sharpie. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last. Get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last. Get it that I'm never going back.
What's up, party people? It is uh, just about that time. Oh, music in the background. I'm uh, currently trying to juggle to get somebody to join me right now. They're uh, working on getting voice chat for Discord working. You're not going to be able to hear them, which makes it even more fun because you'll be able to hear me. They'll be able to hear me, but you won't hear them. Uh, so real quick, let's talk some Dynamo before we get kicked off. Uh, obviously, Dynamo took on Austin FC. Fuck Austin. Uh, sorry, that's a required statement after every time we say the word Austin. Fuck Austin. Um, you know, and uh, the team played well. Uh, a lot better than many expected. Uh, it certainly helps that Austin came in with... Uh, fuck Austin. Austin came in with... Um, some tired legs. Uh, you know, we saw some 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 very tired, I think, defenders and and uh, attackers. Uh, one thing I'm going to note, and I, I don't think this ever came up anywhere else, but uh, there was uh, the play in the first half where uh, uh, Vaselinen or whatever his name, ba Vaseline from uh, Aston FC, uh, he went up uh, and and ran into Steve Clark uh, while Steve Clark was holding the ball, uh, and that would have been a second yellow for him and. Uh, where the supporters were, we were right behind the uh, the goal that uh, Aston were defending with uh, Stuver right in front of us. And during that period, Stuver actually came over to myself and Nestor, uh, and he actually said that should have been a second yellow on our guy. Like he legit was like being real and honest with us. Look, okay, I'm gonna say this, and some people are probably gonna be like, "What? Come on now, what are you talking about?" I got a little respect from Brad Stuver on Saturday, being real, being honest. Uh, he was like, no, that really should, because I yelled, I yelled, I was like, that should be a red ref, come on, and legitimately, it, like, in most leagues, that would be a red, you're not allowed to infringe on the goalkeeper, period, right, so, uh, but, yeah, he, he, Brad, you know, Stuver readily admitted that it should have been a second yellow on his guy, uh, and I was, like, really shocked that he, you know, that you don't see that, right, you, know, you just don't see that happen very often, and, and, uh, so it was kind of a surreal moment, I'm not gonna lie, Nestor and I were both like, dude, did he really just say that to us, like, uh yeah it was it was kind of crazy uh he was actually honestly he was a pretty chill guy uh even though Nestor had some choice words for him chicken legs i believe is what Nestor called them repeatedly uh though deserved you know uh so we actually the we sit most of us are from the surge that are in the chat right now uh we sit in 115 116 usually we'll sit you know air quotes sit we stand uh in that section kyle of course sits in 202 uh with some of his i believe family and friends that sit over there a couple of them um over there, 138, yeah, you're kind of on that uh, opposite corner from where we are, if I remember correctly, uh, over by 102, uh, which is where I used to sit, actually, about five or six years ago before joining the supporters groups. Uh, I used to sit in 102, uh, and there's there some pretty chill people over in 102, gotta be real, gotta be honest. Uh, but tonight, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a little Rocket League. Uh, I'm trying to get somebody in here. Uh, hold up, let me see, he might have said something. I'm gonna try to call him right now. See if I can get him into my into my voice chat at least, so I can hear him. What's up? Can you hear me? I don't hear you. That seems problematic. What's up, Coldy? He's still trying to get his stuff figured out, so we'll we'll wait a sec. Uh, I know he can hear me though, definitely without a doubt. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I thought. You know, I only stayed for the first half. Unfortunately, I had to leave at halftime. I had some stuff I had to take care of uh, on Saturday night. Uh, but I was there for the first half. I was there for the tailgate. If you didn't get a chance to come out to the Surge tailgate slash Surge slash uh, Banderas, Banderas Negras uh, who are out there with us, uh, it was it was lit. It was pretty great. Uh, you know, we had tacos from uh, El, El Calle, I believe is how that's pronounced. I don't know. Somebody will correct me. Uh, they were pretty good tacos. Can't hate on them. Uh the line was a lot longer than I expected, but it moved pretty quick, moved pretty smoothly. Uh, all the beer you could ever want. I mean, if you drink beer, this was your dream. Uh, unlimited drinking of beer. Uh, it was great. It had some popping, pop, you know, popping loud music, bumping hard, bro. Uh, the subwoofers were doing the business. Uh, it was great. Lots of people, lots of friends. Oh, I can hear them now. You there? All right, cool. They can't hear you, which is what's going to make this a lot more fun. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited for this opportunity to play a little Rocket League. Uh, I need to get him partied up with me. Let's see. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can do that. That's easy enough. Super easy. My Epic ID is like easy, easy. Uh, 
but yeah so you know uh, so so that match on saturday man that that second half I, I was just like like i left and i was driving i'm listening to glenn do the call which by the way best thing that that could have happened uh for me in terms of the dynamo coverage is having glenn on 97.5 doing radio calls uh because if you don't get to listen to that ever you need to listen to it that is some of the honestly some of the like cleanest broadcasting i think i think that i could experience in terms of like mls level uh but glenn was on the call on the the radio so i was getting to listen on the way home and uh and he was talking about you know it when i got into the truck it was shortly like very shortly after that maybe 15 minutes 10 minutes or so that uh Lundqvist got the uh got the handball call on him uh and uh, I, I tell you what i was laughing very hard uh when they ended up getting the uh getting getting the red uh, the red not the red card but getting the uh the handball call um at that point um let me send you an invite uh ignore the color of the car i'm not a st louis fc fan i swear uh it's just uh the color of the club that i'm happen to be in for this uh particular circumstance Cool, cool. Uh, so, out of curiosity, for my benefit, you want to share who, uh, what your uh, MMR is or what your rank is, or is this your first time playing? So I can share it with the group. I'm about, I'm about to find out. I got Bacchus mod, so it'll tell me what your rank is as soon as we get in this match. Sure. You're fine. You're fine. I might have to hard carry, but you're fine. It's not that bad. Yeah, he's a he's a 828 MMR right now. We'll have to work on improving that just in the few minutes we have together. Uh, no, I haven't even talked about it. I was gonna let you be anonymous if you wanted, because you know people are gonna talk. Uh, uh, yeah. So it's uh, he's also a member of the Surge. This is uh, Lil Julio. Lil Julio. Oh, fudge me. Uh, yeah, you about to get dunked on. <laughs> As soon as I got demoed, I saw that one coming. Uh, but yeah, so Copa Tejas didn't count for this one, sadly. Why does Copa Tejas not count until later in the season? I don't, that to me, that's frustrating. Like, we get screwed by it last year and the year before, but we don't, you know, they don't get screwed by it this year. Like, you know, I, that to me is just. No, you're fine. Uh, these guys are higher MMR than you. <laughs> and it shows. Uh, and I'm sitting here trying to do a, you know, a, a live stream podcast while playing, which is always a joy. Always a delight. Uh, I'm not hitting this because I forgot I was out of boost. That's a goal. Uh, yeah, not having ever played together before is probably not helping here. Uh, so let's see. They hate us. Yeah, I mean, that's a given. Uh, MSU and KSU in overtime. Is that Michigan State or uh, Mississippi State? You know, there's a couple of MSUs. Michigan, yeah. It's where uh, Robbie Patino used to be from, if I'm not mistaken. No, not Patino. Uh, who am I thinking of? Scagliari? I don't remember his name. Is. Boop. Oh, uh, he's going to not score. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. Yeah, so, you know, I was telling, uh, telling the listeners over here that, uh, you know, I, I thought the uh, first half was a little lame. I'm not going to be not going to lie. You know, uh, we had uh, had attack, had chances, but, uh, you know, as you would kind of figure, they went wanting more often than not. Uh, didn't even really create a chance, I think, on goal. It felt like in the entire first half, Stuver didn't have a whole lot to do. Uh, really, it wasn't even until the second half that I think Stuver had to even really get in the game. Uh, but with that being said, you know, I thought the, the boys played well, um, even in the first half, even though they didn't, you know, didn't get the goal in the first half. But they kept kept themselves in the game uh, pretty well. Uh, let's see, can Julio get to this ball? Nope, he about to get jumped over. It's fine, it's fine. You know, it's a learning experience. It's a learning experience when you're playing much higher ranked players than you. Oh no! If I'd have known that, I might have played some casual instead of comp. <laughs> uh yeah stuver was wasting time in the first half i mean you know let, okay look you can get frustrated about the way that stuver played that first half in terms of wasting time 
But the truth is, if the Dynamo were in that situation, coming off two back-to-back matches midweek, or, you know, a midweek match, and then in, in CCL, no less, followed by, or, you know, right before a, a right after, oh, it was almost a great pinch and goal, uh, right after a, a Saturday match against a pretty good team, you know, the Dynamo would do the same thing, and we wouldn't, we wouldn't bat an eye about it, you know, we wouldn't, we wouldn't fret about it at all. Uh, but because it's, it's Stuver. Let's go. You got a goal. Let's go. Uh, because it was Stuver, I, I think that, you know, we tend to look at it and go, oh my God, he was wasting so much time. In reality, I think, I think just about any keeper in that situation is probably doing the same thing. Uh, Coldy says, I hope the Dynamo win ML, uh, Open Cup. Uh, I mean, that would be cool. Not necessary, but cool. Uh, it'd be a good way to get into CCL, but I don't think we're ready for CCL uh, yet. And to be honest, and to be honest, I don't know if I'd want to go into CCL if we're not ready for it, because we would just get trashed. Uh, and it, yeah, you know, we'd get trashed and get thrown out in the first round. I mean, it wouldn't be against a Haiti team though. Let's be real. Maybe a hater team, but not a Haiti team. You can move out of the way. That's not a goal he missed. I don't know how he missed. Uh, so let's also talk. Let's see what else. Uh, obviously, Lundy with the uh, handball certainly helps there. Uh, you know, positive. Well, he didn't choose which team he was going to. He just chose he didn't want to play for the Dynamo anymore. And the the boys in green, as they say, were the ones who just gave the best offer to the Dynamo. So you know. They weren't going to turn it down, that's for sure. It's fine. I. Not a big deal. I'm trying to stay in front of these boys. Easy clear. Nice. Oh, shoot. I'm not good to that. Uh, we should assign Diego Lainez. Uh, man, being realistic, do you think we will have a chance to make it top eight in MLS? Uh, I saw a note earlier, unless I was dreaming, that the Dynamo are looking to sign a uh, center back. Uh, this is intriguing to me because, it, it guys, an international center back. Are we spending another international slot on a center back? He's probably going to be a TAM player, which, okay, whatever, that's fine. Uh, but, like, you know... What are we doing with Hadebi if we're sitting here and spending an international slot on a, you know, on a tan or spending an international slot on a corner, a center back uh, tam player? Like, to me, that's that's a bit sus if I'm being real. Now it's a possibility that maybe they intend for him to go to Dose, but, uh, you know, for all intents and purposes, that to me doesn't doesn't make a whole lot of sense either. So I got some questions I need answers, uh, and uh, I don't know how likely it is we are going to get answers, but I need them. Uh, and I think that's the one thing that uh, I've been a little, you know, significantly frustrated about with uh, with the, you know, the Pat Asher regime is even though we are getting all of this uh, transparency, uh, we're not. Oh boy, you got it. We're not getting. Uh, we're not getting answers to questions that you know in in ways that make any sense. Like, sure, you can have all the transparency in the world, but you know, if you're making bad decisions and and you know, you can't really explain why you're making the decision. This whole crock of, you know, it's a it's a business decision doesn't really hold to me at all. Uh, but uh, yes, Drew E.C. did play against the Dynamo on Saturday. He played uh, he played the first half at the very least while I was there. Uh, actually, I'm going to pull this into cash so we can get a little more warm up for you. Uh, let's see. So yeah, so so what questions do you guys have? Uh, you know, outside of the center back from, I don't even remember where he's from to be honest. Finland, I don't know, something like that. Norway, uh, Norwegian league. Uh, you know, Denmark. Thank you, Denmark. You know, and and put it put you know grain of salt on this one type thing because there there's some questions you know. I'd like to know how they're going to make it happen. Maybe it's a summer, you know, considered a summer signing if if they sign him now and then he doesn't actually play until the summer, you know, he's not on the roster till then. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. 
And then that would signal to me, though, if that's the plan, that they're planning to uh, they're planning to get rid of Hadebi because you're not going to sign Hadebi or not not going to sign this guy if you're planning to get rid of not planning to get rid of Hadebi. Like to me, it just feels like they're done with Hadebi. And if we're being honest, I can't. It is, and it was to begin with. Like it it was a you know, but it was a move that was heralded as you know Ted's first real signing, and you know as a as a as an owner. But yeah. It's okay, it happens. But to me, that seems like that's like coach's prerogative, right? Like at that point with Bird, he's asking him to press that line. Uh, I want to try Vinny's pizza. Did you try the new food? I haven't tried any of the new food. I'll be honest. Having that tailgate before the match, uh, I had no need to try the food. I was already full. Uh, but uh, next match I'm, I'm able to attend, which will not be Saturday. Uh, I will uh, I will experience the, uh, the new flavors of town, so to speak. Oh, we are up. I just noticed that. Holy cow. It's close. It's a good try. Good try. Nice hit. Turn your aimbot on, huh? That's yeah, too soft. Soft. Uh I don't know. I, I don't know. What do you? What, what, I need more in more content t context. Hey, Sean. I know you're busy with Rocket League. Just wondering how your club's campaign mode on the FIFA game. I have stopped that. I'm gonna start a new one up in in uh, FIFA 23, probably uh, closer to summer. Uh, I decided that uh, you know FIFA 22 just didn't offer enough. Uh, I needed to get something different going. Uh, yeah, you're getting dusted. I saw that. Couldn't do anything about it. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, you know, we just signed a midfielder for a central midfielder uh, for uh, Dynamo Dose. Uh, we've obviously got this uh, center back that we've, we're, we're supposedly signing. I say supposedly because, you know, nothing's official till it happens. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it, it feels like I wouldn't say we're stacked at center back, but it certainly feels like if we're, if we're signing this guy, am I going to play the dash on FIFA 23? You know, that's a good question. I might uh, do a career for both. Uh, it kind of depends on like how much availability uh, Mark has this season. I have no boost. Just over here flailing like an idiot. Great. As I kind of claimed was going to happen because, you know, I'm trying to talk while playing. I don't want to talk about that. I'm so glad it's on stream where everybody can see how badly I played that. Uh, let's see. Need that trail burger. People have high praise for the center back. I mean, you know, people had high praise for Hadebi. He's an athletic guy, but you know, you're with, uh, with teenage. Yeah. So, so, you know, an issue that, that some people have with teenage is that, you know, he does tend to, he does tend to look for the call sometimes in terms of, uh, you know, uh, when he's in a position that he should be getting a call. Uh, he does tend to look for the call. And so, uh, you know, to Julio's point, uh, you know, he said that uh, he tends to go to the ground too much. I, I think I think that's a fair assessment of teenage. I think teenage is also he's reckless at times. You know, he's willing to dive in way too much, doesn't understand the game situation, doesn't have that game IQ that uh, sometimes you'll hear people talk about. 
Um, uh, that yeah 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 it, you know teenage had a couple of red cards last year too uh that'll be awesome if we could sign alexi puteas and or mappy leon i don't know who either of those players are but uh, i'll take your word for it you're good you're good and or Mappy Leon to the dash on this new... Oh, if you can sign... A... Okay, that makes more sense. Alexia Puteas uh, and or Mappy Leon. Those are from... Uh, those are for FIFA, the dash on FIFA. That makes sense, Evil. Thank you. Uh, are we signing Simone Kier from AC Milan? I think that's a negative. Uh, anybody who's 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 tried to insinuate that I'm doing that, I think that's... Uh, I think that's wishful thinking uh, at that point. I'm back to defend. It's fine. He's beat me once, but he's not going to beat me again, damn it. Uh, nice fake, nice fake. Gotta get back on defense. It's okay, he fucked it up. I mean, he screwed it up. Oh, no, he didn't mess up the double tap. Oh, yeah. Hey, you're playing well, considering. I wouldn't get uh, get too overly bent about it. We need to seize, we need that same, we need to sign that Great Dane. I mean, you know, I I don't want 38-year-old center backs, bro. Or, uh, huh? I don't know, I haven't looked. I have no reason to, to look right now. Uh, ready up. Uh, you know, I, I look at it like this, right? That... We keep signing these players hoping that they're going to pan out and like teenage. And, you know, I think to some extent you look at guys like, you know, we, we uh, picked up uh, Quinones. Uh, we've picked up Achara. Uh, you know, how many wingers have we brought in that have done absolutely nothing so far? Uh, yeah, good luck. Oh, he missed. He's at a boost. Doing this with little boost. I'm be honest, I uh, couldn't have done anything with that even if I wanted to. So I could uh you know but but coming back to the players right like there's nobody on this roster except you know Hector Herrera, Sebas Ferreira, you know basically our DPs there's nobody on our roster that screams player that deserves and belongs uh to be an MLS there really isn't uh bossy now I would I would add to that I think at this point uh but you know before this I would not have said bossy was on my list Nice, nice defense. Good flick forward, good flick forward. Nice work. Good job not to push too hard on that.
Thank you. I do promise I have a little skill in this game. Uh, UEFA is investigating Barca right now. Yeah, they're investigating Barca's financial transactions. Uh, uh, UEFA is, and I think FIFA are now as well, uh, investigating into Barca. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with that. Uh, you know, financials have been kind of a bigger thing here. I can't stop that. Uh, bigger thing here lately uh, with FIFA, and I think some of that has to do with, you know, they want to make sure they're getting their cut when it comes down to it, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see what FIFA end up doing or UEFA end up doing. FIFA will probably just pass it to UEFA and say, well, you know, FIFA will be like, all right, whatever, you know, whatever UEFA does will be sufficient enough. You know, they're the they're the authority on this matter. Nice work. Um, This is so hard to actually do, I'm not going to lie. Nice job. Oh. Nice hit, nice clear. You've put me under real duress. Nice, clear. Thank you. Uh, they need to also investigate LAFC. I think MLS have different uh, different uh, parameters for financial fair play, uh, in that it doesn't exist within MLS. Nice hit. Oh, needed to hit that. Oh no. Uh how you sign a player then sell them six six months later. It depends on the I mean you're not you're not restricted to not selling the player in the in the time frame of the contract. I mean there's plenty of teams in in uh across many many leagues that sell sell players at right after they get them. And I think they probably did it as a, a, like a loan loan with obligation to buy type thing where it's like, you know, we'll pay this amount to to buy him after the uh, loan period ends. That was, we won't talk about how ugly that was by me. Okay, I can't hit this dang boost. There we go, at least a little bit. I'm getting red left and right. I don't like it. Couldn't stop in time. Is Ben going to start Sebas on Saturday against NYFC, NYCFC, and what do you make of the situation? So here's the thing with Sebas, right? Uh, they've said that the reason uh, that Ben did not start Sebas the last couple of matches is because uh, Bird, uh, Baird, for those uninitiated, uh, he is a runner, so he's going to run, uh, you know, he's going to cover back on defense, basically, whereas Sebas is not. I call horse doo-doo on that. To be honest, I think that Olsen wants a true, you know, wants a workhorse striker. And I think Sebas is the type of guy who's looking for situations that benefit, you know, the team. Um, you don't always want your striker sitting back on defense. I mean, that doesn't happen very often in, in you know, in other leagues. Why would you want it in MLS? Uh, it just doesn't. That approach to me is very much an old school kind of MLS style approach. Um not even worried about it at this point. 
Uh, and so, you know, I don't, I don't know what to make of it, and but I know what I feel is that, you know, it's a load of poppycock. Uh, that he's not a defender, you know, not into defending. Kansas State up into the Elite Eight, uh, so they beat MSU, obviously. Uh, any other questions, guys? I I'm looking for questions. I need more stuff to talk about and answer because I can't think while I'm playing. Uh, we're not readying up against these guys. Exit back to main. <laughs> Exit to main menu. Good ass, yes. Let's see. Uh, we do this. Oh, wait. I know what we can do. What's the lineup for Saturday? Uh, I think it's pretty much the exact same lineup, uh, almost to a T. Except for Coco. Although, yeah, because Coco didn't play, but he's not going to be available. Yeah, except for Coco. I think Coco will sit out uh, for international duty, of course, and then uh, you'll bring in uh you'll bring in uh Saicedo instead of coco uh or potentially brooklyn reigns if they'd rather see reigns out there uh, i could see them potentially consider that um i don't think they move bossy to the inside i think they keep him on the outside i think he looked good out there um and let's talk about bassy like right one of our better players on saturday looked absolutely up for the match um this is hockey by the way i don't know if you saw that uh julio um so yeah, it'll be uh it'll be interesting to to see what that lineup is. Uh I'm I'm definitely here for it, you know. Are you just about to score? Oh, okay, I was about to say. Catch. Uh, let's see. Any players on card accumulation or close to a suspension? No, I mean, it's only been three matches. Uh, you know, and I don't think we really had all that many yellow cards in the last, you know, the first three matches to, to be overly worried about that yet. Yeah, but even if you think about it, like, all right, that's fine, but it's only been three matches, so, and nobody's gotten a double yellow yet, so, and it's five, it, it's five. It's five before you get uh before you get suspended. So nobody's like in in jeopardy of that right now. Don't just let it run by him. Uh I thought it looked like an Oreo, but it's just a puck. Yeah, it's just a puck. It's not this is not Oreo cookie mode, although that would be kind of cool, not gonna lie. Uh, also, importantly, the Dash uh, season kicks off on Sunday. Uh, I hope y'all are ready for that. That's going to be some fun stuff. Get in. Oh, that's a shame. I'm sure there's a lot of people that would love to see you at the match. That's fair. That's fair. Fair. I mean, yeah, my mom doesn't like soccer either, so I get it. Oh boy, we uh, we smacked the poop out of that one. Hit it. Oh, the wrong person. Yep. Dash going to ball this season. Yeah, they've got a really strong team. Uh, the addition of Barbara uh, Oliveira. Uh, Oliveira definitely helps. Uh, there's been some good, good moves this offseason. Uh, obviously losing uh, Katie Naughton, now known as Katie whatever her last name is. Uh, sucks. Don't wish that on anybody.
You can always tell the guys that have played uh, this hockey mode before. Because they know how to, like, catch the puck. Oh, that's, that's, that's dangerous. It's a pass. To, it's uh, amazing. Let me grab this boost. That works. This man just sitting in goal. He's scared, bro. He's scared. We don't play no scared ball. Come on. He's so lucky. He is so lucky. What a shot, but he's so lucky. Like, my man had to come from, like, two-thirds of the field to hit that damn puck. Uh, has anybody so far other than uh, G uh, Giuseppe played uh, played with the dash on FIFA 23? That's uh, in chat. I'm curious. I know some people have already. I've seen it on the Surge Discord. Oh, just get it in. Just let it go. Yes, sir. You gotta go. Let's go. I'm not seeing uh, anybody saying anything in chat. Yeah, I haven't purchased it either. I gotta, I gotta buy it as well. Uh, I'm kind of debating. Like, I know I'm gonna get it. It's just a matter of when. But I may just wait for it to come out on EA Play. Uh, since I get it with Xbox Live, uh, Xbox Ultimate, Game Pass Ultimate. It's not on target, but it is close. Hey, he gave me a goal. What a pass. Let's go. I got a goal. Woohoo. I don't suck so bad. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of, uh, and this is going to sound super nerdy. I play a lot. I've been playing a lot of uh, City Skylines, actually. Uh, it's a city builder, uh, and it's a lot more fun than I would have thought it is it, to be. Uh, I guess a big part of my, like, enjoyment in it is the fact that it's kind of like I get to feel in control, I guess, you know, kind of. Uh, and so that, that seems to work for making me feel, uh, feel zen, feel, feel good, feel at peace. We win in our first match, let's go. Never worried. Which Texas town do you think will get an NWSL expansion club? Austin, Dallas, or San Antonio? Man, it's going to be Austin, uh, if we're being honest. Fuck Austin. Because uh, Austin has the biggest infrastructure available. Uh, and they've got some people in that town that's got a lot of money. Uh, so I think they'll probably be the first one to get one. Good question, though. Good question. What city do I want to come into MLS? Uh, I'm honestly would like to see Vegas. Uh, I think it's a good opportunity for Vegas. Um, but I, I could see like, you know, uh, oh, I didn't save that. Uh, I, you know, who's the other one? It's, it's Vegas and San Diego, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you know, San Diego's already got a bit of the infrastructure since they've got a NWSL team now. Uh, I could see NWSL being the other one, but I think if we're being honest, uh, all major league sports right now are heavily looking at Vegas as a possibility because there's just so much, you know, you, you get Vegas, you're talking about the local infrastructure for business is just so strong that you're going to likely get a lot of good business deals out of it. That'll be over. I'd be curious to know uh, what San Antonio's name would. Oh no, uh, what San Antonio's name would be? Uh, no, I don't, because it wouldn't be owned by the same group. I don't think it would be owned by the same group, anyways. Because didn't this 
didn't the Spurs pull out of the the SSFC uh, or the SFC? Uh, uh, I think they pulled out of the Lone Star Entertainment Group thing. Not Lone Star, uh, whatever they're the Spurs Entertainment Group. Nice save. Yeah, I'm well. Yeah, so I would think that uh, I would. Oh boy. Okay. So I would think that would be the most likely. You know situation is vegas like i said you have too many sports that are currently looking at vegas as an option moving forward that it just feels like it would make them you know make sense for them to look that way out uh well i mean oh you oh friend mls right um you know i i would think that it wouldn't be a rebrand i would think that it would probably need to be a uh you know, uh, uh, similar to what happened with Austin, like, oh, oh, this is awkward for them. Well, it was awkward for them. And then I just I dribble it backwards, leave it for you guys. Get totally demoed. Uh, you know, I just I wouldn't expect them to want to use the uh, to use the existing team because um, I don't think it would be owned by the same group. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you know, they're the, uh, they're the, what is it, the minor league, bana uh, Savannah Bananas team, you know, effectively, uh, with their, their uniforms, very bright, very colorful. Nice, you still got the goal, let's go, even though I was there, just want to throw that out there. Uh, Scorpions from the NASL years, yeah, the San Antonio Scorpions, uh, Austin Aztecs. Uh, anybody remember them? Uh, but yeah, San Antonio Scorpions, uh, yeah, it's gonna fur going to further the Houston Austin Texas rivalry. I mean, you know how how could the NWSL? Oh, let's go. That kind of came out of nowhere. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, it it would right. Like I would love to. Wow, that sucker had some pace. Uh, I would love to see Austin get an NWSL team just for the just for the rivalry factor. Um, you know, I, I think that they would find Austin is not a uh, NWSL city. They barely support their MLS team consistently enough. Um, so I'm not entirely sure that it would be you know the best situation uh, to say the least. But uh, you know, you get what you get sometimes. Nice pass. Uh, let's see. Uh, who else do I want to talk about? Let's talk about uh, Steve Clark. I thought he played a pretty good match on Saturday. Um, you know, obviously, yeah, I, you know, obviously he took a little knock uh, in that first half. Um, you know, suffered a little bit of a you know painful kind of moment, uh, but he. Well, yeah, but that's the the backup goalie right there is warming up because Steve Clark is on the pitch hurt. <laughs> like that's you know that's how that works. Ooh, that was clean. Um, this hockey Rocket League game reminds me of missing the arrows. Man, the arrows were the best. Oh, I miss the arrows too. Uh, NW NHL in Houston. I'm ready for it. NHL in Houston. No, that's not going to change anything. Oh, that's a goal. Oh, what a clean play. Let's go. Uh, let's see. What else should we talk about? Um, oh. Uh, Ethan Bartlow. I thought he played pretty good uh, overall. I thought he had a decent match. Uh, again, you know, tired legs on offense for them. Uh, for Austin, certainly helps the the process a lot. Um, uh, certainly helps the process a lot. That is just a great play by them to leave it open for me. Yeah, there's rumors of the NHL expansion going to Houston. Yeah, we're waiting, right? Uh, obviously, uh, Fertitta does have some desire to own an NHL team, and if 
would it would fit it would make a lot of sense uh i could see it happening for sure um i went from not playing anything in that first like three minutes of that game to like the last minute playing like i'm a baller i know <laughs> we decided to play after we went down two nil that's crazy um yeah, but back to Ethan Bartlow. I thought he played well. I, I think he's a good physical player. Um, I think he reads the game pretty well. I think he can play the ball out. He can dribble. He can pass. I think he's still going to make some mistakes. He's young. That's going to happen. Um, and and unfortunately, I think when you pair him with Hadebi, uh, I think that's a recipe that, that's going to cause problems long term. And the reason I say that is with Hadebi being as reckless as he is, it forces Ethan uh, to have to be less aggressive. Uh, and I think keeps Ethan back a little bit more than I would prefer. Because if Ethan's pushing out, it's better for us. Uh, so I, I, you know, I think in that in that manner, I think it would be better uh, for him to not play with uh, with uh, Hadevi. But uh, you know, I, I still think it worked. Yeah, uh, uh, right back. Yeah, uh, that's where he played. Right back. Oh, he got all of that one. Yeah, I mean, you know, right back is not a problem when you're playing tired legs. But again, it comes down to, you know, you got to be playing tired people. If you're playing people that aren't tired, they're going to, you know, they're going to be able to run all over you, especially against a slower right back. Don't mind me. I'm just suddenly playing goalkeeper. I don't know how that happened. That dude just dribbled like he knows what he's doing. That was a clutch, uh, clutch, clutch play right there. He got that hockey puck, just juggled it like nothing. It's the first time this season that the back line of defense stepped up and gave a complete match. Of, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, again, it helps that it was against Austin, but it's also one of those things. Like, it's the first time we've seen them play that, that cohesively. And I think what I'm scared about is that this is going to make, like, it's going to be one of those things that everybody's like, oh, Ben knows what he's doing. I, I have concerns that, you know, maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. But, uh, you know, what I've seen so far does not jive with that. Oh, that's such a great setup. <laughs> Let's go. What a three-man play right there. Uh, it's still early, but hopefully they can be consistent for most of the season. And like I said, you know, I have concerns. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit misleading considering who we were playing and, and you know, how they had played against a Haiti team just earlier in the week. Same exact lineup, basically. Uh, just with, without Drew Weesey midweek. Yeah, yeah, I think we've all been waiting for that moment. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, Austin fans were definitely pissed at the end of that match. Um, you know, I think it's their first taste of having to play multiple competitions in the same season, having to play CCL and, and uh, MLS play back-to-back -back like that. It's the first time they're experiencing that. I think it was a wake-up call. That man, our players played like crap, you know. Uh, I think they're realizing that, you know, running the league and doing that at the same time is not as easy as they thought. Um, 
but it was good. You know, it was good. It was it was great to get that first win under the belt. You know, we, we've been needing it. Uh, I think the players have been needed it. I think coaches needed it. Um, but again, I, I you know, I got to see them do the same thing on Saturday against a different a different club. I did not mean to miss that. That was really crappy. Um, a club that's not so tired. Yeah, pretty good. Just keep it in front of yourself. You're good. Does the Dynamo midfield need some work, or is it okay for now? You know, I, uh, man, I, I am not a fan of the way that this midfield has been constructed. Um, I don't think it favors any of the players. Um, I, I don't think this style of, of three-man midfield is is going to cut it long-term. I think there's just too many question marks. Um, I think, well, we didn't play with a line of three. It doesn't look like it. Uh, I'm swapping out. People are going to hate me for saying this. I'm swapping out Hector Herrera. I don't care that he's been the best player on the pitch. He's not the best player at center mid right now. Um, and that's that's my... Oh, no. You made a mistake, bro. It was close. Uh, I didn't help that I... Oh, I did hit it, but I hit it backwards. Uh, but, yeah. Yep. Uh, you know, but I, I look at it like this, right? It's something that could be fixed, but you're spending so much money on Hector Herrera. You're spending so much money on Coco because of the, yeah. And it, well, I mean, you got to put them on the field at this point, but if you had a better, a better midfield, then I, I don't think it's as required to have, to have him there. What the f are you doing, dude? What was that? Uh, I mean, I realized it went to the corner, but it sure didn't look like it was going to at first. That was actually pretty nice. Nice pass. Um, so yeah, from you know from the midfield perspective, and the thing I, the thing I think that makes the most difference for us is the fact that we have no attacking player right in the midfield, and I feel like Bossy should be that guy. Like if we're playing a four three three, let's push him up into the actually let him play an attacking midfielder role. But then you know, are you taking Coco off the bench? Are you taking Hector off the bench? You know who are you taking off the bench? Go ahead. And I think that's the, you know, that's the question. That's the problem when you have a guy like Hector Herrera. Like, you've got to play him. But, again, he's not the best center fielder, you know, center midfielder, in my opinion, on the team. So you also can't afford not to play him. Yeah, I, yeah, so it's... Well, that's the thing, right? Like, I can I can understand that argument. I also think there's an argument to be made that, you know, I, I think you have a little more of a situation with Sebas where I can I can kind of see some of the some of the desire not to play him, but at the same time, I don't think I've seen enough of Sebas to go, oh yeah, that guy doesn't track back on defense. I think everything I've seen says he tracks back on defense pretty well. We'll make sure we got that booted forward. That's all. Um. That was us surviving by the skin of our teeth, it feels like. Oh, nice dribble. Just slam that sucker into the back of the net. I've got no boost. What am I doing? Oh, I should have stayed on the ground.
Yeah, I think the other thing, too, is by having players on the wings that play so high up the pitch most of the time, I think that does tend to take away from, you know, what would be a wider midfield. Um, and that that uh, there are times that I, I kind of wish we had a different, you know, midfield style. Oh, damn, that came in fast. Yeah. Yeah, but the dude can't hit it on target. And and you know, yeah, he he's pacey, but to what extent? Like he doesn't do much with that pace from what I've seen so far. Uh, we got about another 30 minutes. Why is... Who's offering to forfeit? Oh, he's probably got some... Mommy's probably calling. <laughs> Dinner time. Off to you? Oh, you were backwards. I think he needs to go. Uh, legitimately needs to go. There you go. In the goal. What is the Actually, that's a damn good save. I don't lie. He's got it. Oh. Nice pass. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of uh, anything else to talk about uh, Dynamo related, Dynamo Dash related. Can't really think of anything at the moment. Exit to main real quick. Yeah, I saw that. I did see that. Uh, he is not on. All right, we can play another uh, real quick. Uh, you know what? We'll just go two v two casual again. Get our butts handed to us. It's good for the good for the soul to, to remember you suck <laughs> sometimes. Any special guests we plan to have on on the show in the future? You know, I, I would love to get special guests on. I think our biggest problem that we run into with special guests is that we run on Thursday evenings at seven thirty in the you know evening, and we're live. Um, so it's a lot harder to get uh, to actually get. Uh, that's a very delayed. Oh, I scroll all the way up. I was about to say it's a very delayed statement by me. Um, I, uh, you know, so it's, it's hard to get uh, to get guests on because you know they've got they've got lives. They have specific time frames they want to get on at. Uh, play this a little more defensive than I normally would. Oh, you went for my boost. That's fine. There you go. Nice catch. Oh, Jesus.
That is me playing about as hard as I can. Uh, full on, like, pushing everything I have to get to that ball. Uh, yeah, so I am hoping to get Jen Cooper on at one point. Uh, he says he's here. Are you actually online? You are online. All right, I'm inviting you to the party. Uh, Mr. Beans. Uh, and, uh, you will, uh, get to play with, uh, my friend Julio here and me for a little bit. And then, uh, beautiful pass. Good work. Uh, uh, and then, so we'll play some threes, and then, uh, then I'm sure Julio will hop off at some point, and you and I can play a little twos before I call the stream off. Might get one 3v3 match, and then, uh, he and I can get a two, couple of 2v2s in. Easy. Easy. Oh, he saved it. Uh-oh. May have left us in a real bad place. Almost had it. Almost had it. Good try. Good try. Good try. Good try. Real close. Real close. Let's see. Uh, yo, he's in my party. Uh, so this is Beans. He's not a Dynamo fan. He's not a soccer fan. Uh, but he is uh, going to be in the party with us for 3v3 here in a minute. Uh, you guys can see how good he actually is. I just had to get warmed up, you know. Was that beans? Uh, we ran a tournament. Was that last night or the night before? That was the night before. We ran a tournament the night before, and uh, oh man, it was ugly. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, but yeah, I, you know, I want to get I want to get those guys on for sure. Uh, I'd love to get some other you know uh, podcast guys on uh, to talk Dynamo every once in a while. We pinched the heck out of that. No, that's fine. That's great. Let's go. Yeah, that was that was not good. Uh, Beans and I were depressed. And then we played a couple matches and we won like... We, we scored like six goals in both of the following matches after that. If y'all get Eddie on the show, we want to hear his side of the story about him getting fired. He didn't get fired. He just didn't have his contract renewed effectively. But I, I hear you. I do hear you. Uh, but he did not get fired in that sense. I did not hit that like I thought I was going to. I just had to move you out of the way so you didn't deflect that ball into a bad position. He's over here just dribbling fools left and right. I see you. Oh boy, this is going to be awkward. As... Yeah, I can't save that. Awkward as all. Good. Oh, that's a cool little uh thing with the, the the slowly lowering sunglasses. I like that banner. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. So what else? Uh, Dynamo related. Uh, we talked Ethan Barlow. We talked a little. Oh, let's so let's talk Ben Olsen, right? What do we think about this this four three three that he's been playing with? Uh, do we like it? Do we not like it? Uh, you know, thoughts on that side of things. I, I can't slow it down any more than that for you, buddy. <laughs> that literally was dropping so slow. We should start a rehire Eddie movement. Like I, I love Eddie, I, I really do, but I think that uh, I, I think that um, I think that Eddie's time as a broadcaster has come and gone. Um, I think he is a great like he's a great former player. Great. Oh, you did not. Oh, that's off. Uh, great ambassador for the team and for the club, but. Uh, you know, he's, uh, he's, uh, he, he, uh, was, uh, was the heck I said is what I'm gonna say on that one. Um, thanks, Flick. Good, good hit out. That's over. I'm not worried about it. Uh, it's a good catch from him, though.
Oh no, you I mean you missed it. You made a Mimi, I mean you missed it. I can't even speak right now. That was so bad. Uh I am very focused on this Rocket League uh stuff at the moment. I give Ben a C plus grade rating. Yeah, I think a C plus right now is probably fair. I mean, not not worthy of an F, but certainly not worthy of much more than a C. Uh, I mean, the two losses on the road. I mean, you know, the team looked miserable for the most part. So I can't say that you know he's he's done much there. But uh... I thought we played well, but there were definitely moments that we were outplayed. Uh, and to me, you know. That definitely comes down to coaching a little bit, you know, but it was also I think it was unfortunate we played Minnesota the very first week of the season because like that's a game we probably win if players are, you know, if we have a mean posse on, on the field, you know. Oh, Cincinnati, right, right, Cincinnati. So you said Minnesota, you threw me off. Uh, Look, I rely on my co-host to tell me what's up, OK? <laughs> uh, that's what Mark's job is. <laughs> tell Strong when he's wrong, which is frequent. Uh, get blocked. Um, nice save. That's fine. I'm back. Oh, that's in. No, it's not. I hit that way too hard. I don't want to talk about it. Keeping it out of our corner. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a coaching in progress type situation. I still, you know, just like we talked about last week on the show, I still feel like. There are other coaches that were better options. Um, and I'm not just talking about Tata Martino. I think there's other coaches as well that were available that we probably could have, you know, could have picked up uh, if Pat wasn't so dead set on being the man to make all the decisions. Uh, you can exit out to main menu. Uh, Beans, you ready to get this? You ready to get this? Uh, let me... Uh, we're going to play threes. I'm going to stay in this call with you, Julio. Beans, you, you'll just have to... You'll just have to use text chat. Uh, we'll go casual threes, though. I'm not going to put you under, under pressure for... Uh, you know what? We're having fun. We're going boomer ball. This will be great. Boomer ball. Three-man boomer ball. Might be four-man. I don't know. We'll see. It'll be fun. The ball flies, bro. This ball flies. Okay, please no. I mean, it, it, this is for fun. Then you and I will play some twos for real. Yeah, it's 3v3. This will be great. It'll be lots of fun. We got this. We got this. I got faith. You don't even... Unlimited boost. Just all the boost. Woo! You almost got a goal right off the right off the kickoff. God darn, this is like Reed, Reed City here. Oh, that's on target. Uh-oh, we triple committed. I don't think I've actually done that in a while. If I'm being honest, that's off. I gotta remember I have unlimited boost. That might be in. That might be in. Let's go, Julio. Uh, Bean's got a little nice shot for you. I uh, thought you did well there. That's that is clean. That's clean. It's a good shot. Good shot. I'm over here with zero points. I'm, I'm playing the hardball. Oh, Lord. This kickoff's going to be so ugly. I'm not going to lie. I mean, that's going to, like, come halfway out here. You ain't got it, though. Nice hit. Oh, I just missed it. Nice, good save. Oh boy. I'm missing. It's all part of the plan. 
Good grief. I may have added a lot of extra behind that. I can't get there. I definitely can't. Oh, I can't get there. I can't get there. Dang. This is so hard to play. I love it. Ooh. Look at that. Using the wall to your advantage. Uh, oh, okay. Cool. We take those. That's on not on target. We're good. Crossbar in from the other corner. I see you beans showing off for the stream. Look at that. Corner, crossbar, down and in. What a shot. What a save. My bro is what a saving him. Good grief. You got him pissed off now, Beans. What you going to do? wanted that hit good fake good fake good fake oh i don't like that though okay they messed it up i cannot keep that off i tried He's Louise. My reaction times were faster. That would have been a goal. That's a goal. Ah, oh, thank God. This may be the most focused I've been all night. Uh oh, uh oh. What a save. What a save. <laughs> Dang, that ball was bouncing. Ooh. What a read. BGs. BGs. Predictions, Dynamo 1-0, NYCFC, uh, Seba scores the goal off the bench as a super sub. Uh, I don't know about that, uh, but uh, I like the idea. Uh, but I uh, foresee a 2-0, 2-0 uh, to, uh, to NYCFC. I don't, I just don't see it. Uh, all right, Julio, have, have a good night. 1-1, Julio says. 1-1. One, one. I, I mean, I could see it. We'll see. I don't know. At home, we're definitely better, obviously. But, uh, you know, I, I got to see it. Uh, Julio, thanks for joining me, man. I appreciate it for sure. Uh, I'm going to go hop on a call real quick with Beans. We got about uh, 10 minutes left in the show. 
Uh, throw your questions my way real quick. Uh, happy to answer whatever I can. Otherwise, guys, it's been a blast. Uh, talk to you later, Julio. Bye. Uh, let's do this. And then this. What's up, Beans? Comp 2s. I'm going to continue streaming for like five seconds. What do you mean, why am I so cool? Why am I so cool? Because I got friends like Giuseppe. That's why I'm so cool. But I need to know what you mean by that. I need to know where, where that's coming from. Like you can't just say that and then not explain why you at why why you think I'm cool. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, Beans. I am a cool guy. I, I won't deny it. I won't deny it. I won't deny it. <laughs> Doing it on stream too. That's the best part. I don't know, you said ask a question, the first thing I thought, why are you so cool? Oh, like, you know, I mean, you know, the reality is everybody could be this cool if they try, right? You know, it's just the way it is. Facts. All right. Uh, not my right. My other right. Uh, you're going to have to, uh, are you going to defend? Or are you just going to grab boost or what? <laughs> I was so on that boost. I, mean, I had to challenge there and you're like in the corner waiting for the boots to spawn like that was funny it's all good it's all good i promise you he's better than that guys i promise he is better than that sometimes most of the time that's actually pretty good but it's not gonna matter because oh i almost blocked it uh oh that's on target what a save oh i didn't grab boost it's off really off now he missed what a whiff Oh, no, I hit the edge. I would have saved that if I didn't. I hit the lip. Like, the way I hit the lip, I rolled off when I because I was flipping at the same time. On the right-hand side over here. Watch this. Right there. I was in the process of flipping to get a little bit, like, to get into goal so that I could flick it out of goal. And, unfortunately, it did not do that. Okay, they didn't read it either. Oh boy. You really didn't read it though. I read that though. Let's go. What's in? Oh. Oh. It'd be like that on stream, huh? People know I play with a with a ball hog. I play with a gold stealer. <laughs> Straight facts, bro. Uh-huh. Just making sure it goes in. That sir is what I saw on that play. How did I miss that boost? Man, I need some boost. I'm just going to grab it right through the middle. I'm bailing out. I should have been there. I got it. Move out my way. Wow. I say move out my way. You just knock me into kingdom come. See how you do? All part of the plan, right? You just knew they were going to miss, right? Oh, boy. You are uh, you're playing some kind of special right now. I'm going to give you that. I'm grabbing boost. I'm grabbing boost, that's all. Ooh! Ooh! You know I'm going to hit those, like, half the time. Nice assist. <laughs> Y'all need to watch this on stream. I'm just saying, look how clean that is. Just just right center a goal. Mm. I see people do these crazy air tricks and air moves in the Rocket League that they encourage. Look, I can't do a lot of those air moves that they do, but I can hit some nasty stuff. Not all the time, but sometimes. And Beans over here, he can hit some stuff. Nice pass, by the way. That was that was a really good pass. I'm not gonna lie. That was a good pass. Ain't nobody said anything about my bicycle bicycle goal. What is up with that? Nobody gonna say nothing about that goal. That was such a nice goal. Maybe they're just speechless. Left speechless by that. Hmm. 
I mean, you got this. You got this. I believe. Oh, I don't believe anymore. I I may be at fault here. In fact, I am almost guaranteeing I'm at fault there. We got six minutes left in the show. Basically, the rest of this match and then closing out. Did my music stop playing? Nope, the music's still playing. It's just super quiet. No, I can't. You know I can't hit that like that. I'm not an air dribbler. It's just not my speciality. Nice fake. I'm caught on the corner, but that guy messed up, so it works out okay. He knocked me he knocked me back into it. I don't know what you want me to do. Oh god. Nice block. Just get that moving down the field that direction. How about that? That works. Oh? Oh? Is it in? Is it in? Is it in? Get in. Oh, that's dope. Oh. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, that's, that's, that's so, so, so clean. I can't believe I missed a completely wide open goal. Like, I didn't even touch the ball. Ugh. I don't want to talk about it. Nice shot, though. Nice shot. He said he can't believe I missed it either. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. You forget that uh, left always goes, or, or uh, just trying to play a different kickoff? Oh, <laughs> that's a new way to show off, that's for sure. Over to you. Nice job. I'm just out here showing off the dribbles. Bruh, the dribbles. <laughs> and I'm going to do it over here. And then that's free open goal. Hmm. We scored six goals, by the way. Yep, I was going to say, they're going to quit. All right, we play one more, and then I'm going to close out the show, and then, then I'm going to hop off of the show, and then you and I can keep playing. That way I can focus play, you know. Not so, quite so bad. Set after we win 6-7-3, six, 6-3. Seven, three, six, three. <laughs> yeah, it'll happen. We'll get some, we'll get some, we'll get some high-level champ hanging out in a diamond lobby, you know. Oh, I wanted to. I thought about it. Couldn't quite get there. I tried. But well, he was sweating to get that ball. Ooh. No, he didn't. Need some boost pads. We're going to grab some boost pads. I'm going to come up and just hang out with this guy. Just demo him, you know. Move out your way. Take your boost. I'm going to take this guy's boost. Oh, boy. Yeah, that was, you know, that was a Taco Bell uh, tornado or volcano burrito, you know, that, that definitely had some spice to it. I at least kept him off the ball enough to not get immediately scored on. Good read to uh, bail on that. Leaving it for you. Oh, 
Oh, I flipped too late. I should have flipped earlier. Oh no. You got this. You got this. You got this. You don't, you don't got this. You don't got this. Can we go to VAR? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, technically it does have like, they won't correct, but uh, they definitely do show the replay every time of every goal. So, uh, but VAR would be really, really weird. It's either in or it's not when it comes to Rocket League. You need boost? Never too late. I faked it hard. Nice. Why did not get faked? Going backwards. Careful. Nice work. I saw him. I saw him sitting there like he was debating whether he wanted to go for boost. And I'm like, that means he's low on boost initially and he's got no momentum going for boost. I'm going to just put on a target and see what he can do. Nothing. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we got two minutes left in this match. Hey, at least there are no red and yellow cards. Yeah, that would be kind of crazy because, uh, boy, there are some significant moments where uh, you could get real, real screwed. Got to keep them out of our goal, you know. Oh, no. Too hard. Okay, I'm behind you. Not for that, though. What a shot. What a dribble. Ooh. They done dusted you and me. At least it's entertaining. Like, I don't have to talk the whole time, because at least there's something to watch, right? I think I just got a speed flip. It's disgusting. Like, not a traditional speed flip, of course. I'm missing. Not on going. Nice job. Ooh, you know, sometimes you just feel it, feeling the dribbles. Sometimes you're just feeling the little chips. You hit him with a what is a bruh. Now he's coming for blood. All right. Let's see you defend him after what is saving him. Oh, nice defense. Let's go. This is the winner right here. Not the winner. I was chasing for demos and I didn't get the demo. He tried to go, and I think he, like, totally threw his car off. Nice throw. And then it back to you, apparently. Awkward plays going on here, not gonna lie. Mostly for me. He missed. Oh, I wasn't worried about it. Let's go. Final match. Final final seconds into oh oh god. Let me just hit that that way. Hope for the best. Ah, oh, I tried. I tried to get you a pass. I just didn't have enough mustard on it. 
All right, uh, gonna resume this game. All right, hey, thanks again, everybody, for joining. Appreciate it. Throwing up the H's. Y'all have a good night. Remember, we'll be back uh, in two weeks. I'll be on next week, though, playing probably some more Rocket League, same time. Uh, but uh, match on Saturday, match on Sunday, Dynamo Dash back to back, Dynamo Saturday, Dynamo uh, Dash on Sunday. Both are home matches. Uh, Y'all have a good one. Hold it down.